Hi, Sugarman here. I want to talk to you today about bowler's calculators, or the Aviva Expert in particular. So bowler's calculators are, uh, they're a real smart meter. So what is bowler's calculation? Well, if you're a type 1 diabetic or a type 2 diabetic uh, who takes mealtime insulin, you might be thinking about moving from a fixed insulin regime, that means having the same amount of insulin per meal, which restricts you somewhat because you always have to eat uh, enough to cover the insulin. A lot of people move to flexible insulin dosing because it gives you more flexibility through life. You can eat small meals or large meals and then adjust your insulin dose based on what you're eating and also based on what your blood glucose level is prior to your meal or even any other time of the day and activities, exercise and so on. So flexibility or flexible dosing is probably the gold standard of uh, diabetes management. So how do you get to that point? Well, you, we work out a few formulas. The first thing we do is find out what your total daily dose of insulin is. So what is that? That's uh, your background insulin, your, you know, your basal insulin uh, over 24 hours, plus your mealtime or fast-acting insulin. Uh, in this example, uh, the patient I spoke to uh, used 30 units of Lantus Solo Star, which he injected at night. And, and the uh, Lantus Solo Star is consistent. That didn't alter at all. So we're going to use 30 units as our base there. The uh, Humalog he was on uh, injected an average of eight units of breakfast, sometimes 10, sometimes six. So we've got an average of eight, an average of six for lunch, and an average of six for dinner. And that gives us a total of 20 units of rapid acting insulin or Humalog. Adding those two together gives us our total daily dose. And, that's, uh, and that rounds up to 50 units. So this is the amount of insulin we'll use, or the total daily dose we'll use, to get our insulin to carb ratio, which is another formula, and our insulin sensitivity factor or correction factor. So, insulin to carb ratio. This is the formula we use for the insulin to carb ratio. It's the amount uh, of grams of carbohydrate that one unit of insulin will cover. For example, uh, it's called the 500 rule. So it's 500 divided by the total daily dose of insulin. So in this instance, it's 500 divided by 50 equals 10. So one unit of insulin, or Humalog in this instance, uh, will cover 10 grams of carbohydrate. So now he knows exactly how much insulin to give depending on what he's eating. The, o the most important thing, or the only thing he really has to do now, this, this patient, is learn how to count carbs in grams or in serves. Uh, so, and even better if he can uh, count them up in 10 gram increments. So if he was eating 60 grams of uh, uh, carbohydrate, for example, four slices of bread, uh, then he would deliver six units of insulin to cover that. So that gives him a lot more flexibility in the food he's eating. The other formula we use is the insulin sensitivity factor or correction factor, and that's called the 100 rule. In this instance, and, and that's the amount of, or the amount of, in millimoles that one unit will drop your blood glucose level. So 100 divided by the total daily dose of insulin equals 2. So one unit will lower the blood glucose level by 2 millimoles in this instance. Of course, it will, it will differ depending on what your total daily dose of insulin is. So that gives you an idea of uh, if your blood glucose level is 12 before lunch and you want to be 6, your target is 6, then you need to correct 6 millimoles. Or 6 divided by 2, in this example, is 3 units. So you would have 6 units for, to cover the 60 grams, plus the 3 units uh, equals 9 in total. So that's the calculation, or calculating flexible dosing. Alternatively, you could use a bolus calculator or a smart meter. And we're just going to talk about the Aviva Expert. Very smart, and what it does, it uses all those formulas that we talked about, and more. This is a, a sheet that's uh, filled in uh, for the Aviva Expert. It's important that the healthcare professional fills this sheet in first, prior to setting up the meter. And what we do is, uh, it's, it goes through language, whether it's 12 or 24 hour format, depending on your preference, 
uh, upper limits. Upper limit is uh, if you have a blood glucose level above a certain level, it will alarm and remind you to test again. In this instance, I've set 15 millimoles as an upper limit because what I really want to do, I want the patient to test for ketones if he has a blood glucose level above 15 and the lower limit of 4. If he has a blood glucose level below 4, uh, then it will set an automatic reminder of 15 minutes uh, to retest until he gets a level over 4 and then it will stop the reminder will uh, cease until the next time he does blood glucose level below 4 or above 15. Uh, it's got all the health settings there and in particular it's got up to 8 time blocks. So we worked out the instant to carb ratio to be 1 to 10, the sensitivity to be, to be 1 to 2, so we're going to put it in across all the time blocks. So what are time blocks? Time blocks could be uh, breakfast. So for instance I might have a time block from 6 a.m. until 11 a.m. Then I might have another time block 11 until 4 to cover lunch. That's important that uh, those time blocks are there because uh, as you know you need different amount of insulin for uh, at different times of the day even though you might be eating the same amount of carbohydrates you just become a little more insulin resistant sometimes in the morning or, or insulin resistant in the evening depending on your age children tend to be a lot more insulin resistant around about sort of late afternoon early evening where adults become more insulin resistant in the morning so once you've got all those parameters you set up the Aviva Expert very very simple it takes about 20 minutes to set up and then away you go so now the only thing I uh, the patient has to do is to test his sugar level and put in the amount of grams of carbohydrate he's consuming so let's do a test shall we? so I put in a strip and it switches on automatically and while it's doing that I'm just going to prick my finger. I love these fast clicks devices. Nice and easy and uh, don't hurt me at all. And then I give it a drop of blood. The beaver strips are available uh, through the uh, PBS or NDSS and 10.2. So clearly I'm above my target. So I want to uh, do a correction. But I'm going to put uh, meal time, I'm going to put pre-meal just for this example and I'm going to eat this Kit Kat. This Kit Kat is about 15 grams of carbohydrate. Sadly I know that. So I put in 15 grams of carbohydrate and then press bolus. And what it's done it says I need to at 2.1 to correct my blood glucose level down from 10.1 down to my target of 6 and 1.5 to cover the uh, chocolate bar. We knew that because it's uh, 1 to 10. So 15 grams is 1.5 units. 4 units in total. I press confirm and it says inject 4 units of insulin. It's as simple as that. And then I press uh, OK. So all I have to do now is inject 4 units of insulin. I love these new uh, Humalog pens. Uh, the nice design there. And carry it around with you. So I'm going to inject four units of insulin and enjoy my Kit Kat. You've been listening to The Sugar Man. Thank you.